a lot of people want to know like what they should expect when they first start taking allopotec and so i just wanted to do maybe a weekly video of me taking it like restarting to take it and like what symptoms i go through i lost basically 20 pounds just from taking the supplement i wasn't doing anything extraordinary so you're supposed to take it after your first meal right here it is i'm just gonna take the biggest one i have Okay guys, so it is day three of starting Allopotec. Uh, yesterday, I don't know why, I was just craving like the entire world. I had like two of my ice cream bars, I had pasta and rice, I just had all this types of food and I'm honestly not worried about like really what I eat when I'm taking Allopotec. I do try to eat healthier, but today it is day three and it's around 12.53. I have not eaten anything today because I am actually going to start to try to do intermittent fasting and I actually am not even that hungry right now, but I thought I would just kind of update you on that. Um... So I just went for a walk. It is super nice out today. I'm gonna have my first meal because I'm hungry as so. hell. Today is day four, by the way. Sorry, I haven't really been updating you guys on like what I've been eating. Um, but this is mainly just to talk about like symptoms and stuff like that. So, so far I'm not feeling any symptoms um, except for maybe a little less hungry, but that I feel like doesn't usually kick in that quick unless it's just like in my head. I don't know. I did do intermittent fasting yesterday, so I ate between one and like seven. And I ate like a lot, like I was really full during that period, but that's what's nice about intermittent fasting. Like you can eat a lot during that time period and you just fast like the rest of the time. Um, and so you just kind of digest things better. Also, just to mention, usually week one, you don't f feel symptoms. Usually there are some people that do feel small symptoms like bloating. Some people say that they uh, start the detox during week one. Um, I usually do not. So yeah, I would say that week one is definitely just about just finding your routine just going about your day honestly just how you were before like if you can start exercising i think what helped me which i always say what helped me is just not really thinking too hard about it that's why i was just so happy with the results because i didn't expect shit to happen <laughs> i had no expectations also just to let you know i have been going to the bathroom regularly and when i say going to the bathroom you know what i mean <laughs> okay so here is my lunch so basically i made red lentil red maybe i'm <laughs> okay i made red lentil pasta put marinara sauce and nutritional yeast in there um so it's like a little bit thicker of a consistent consistency and then just threw some chickpeas in there. I don't know. I just wanted to throw some in there. And then I cut up some red bell pepper, cucumber. I'm going to dip it into this sauce I got from Trader Joe's. I have no idea, but um, it's really spicy. It tastes really good. But yeah. Let's see how this tastes. So just up to you, I had like two bowls. And then I have some ice cream. Guys. <clears throat> if you're trying to eat healthy, don't follow my example, especially week one, like, actually any week. I'm just gonna be real with you, like, what I eat, like, I really do try to eat healthy, but I bought this stuff before I was taking supplement. I was just craving ice cream. So if I wanna eat ice cream, I'm gonna eat ice cream, you know what I mean? I also finished one liter. So I just filled this baby up and we're on year two. Drink your water, people. Okay, so I just got ready because I have to film some stuff, but I did get a new shipment in. So if you know, you know. Yeah, this is what the bottle looks like with the actual wrapping on it, like, you know, with everything on it.
We can't forget your potassium supplements. Potassium. Yeah, potassium. Oh my God. Okay. Vitamin D. <sighs> and B12. Okay, so like I said, I got my new shipment in. So I'll show you guys. Look at this drawer. Like, damn. That's like 40, a little less than 40 has I already packaged some. But I got like 50 of them and I already have sold like 14. So yeah. And I'll see you for dinner. So it is day six today. So this morning I did a little workout. My friend sent me her little workout. So I did that and it was hard, honestly. <laughs> I need to work on my strength training. I'll put the workout in the description below if you're interested in it. And right now it is about 1.35. So I had my smoothie around 12 o'clock. If you're also in your first week, you don't really expect anything to really change too much. You may start your detox but you may not again this is all just to show you guys what you can expect not necessarily what you will expect because everybody's bodies are different can't cannot emphasize that enough <laughs> so today's the last day of week one so i wanted to go over some things there's actually really not much to go over but let me take this and it's kind of late in the day so I was kind of late in taking it. I had already eaten dinner and I forgot to take it. So I'm taking it right now. So yeah, honestly, not much has happened week one. I um, just wanted to kind of let you guys know what to expect in week one. That there's really not much to expect. But for some people, some people do detox. They do start to detox. It really depends where you're at in your journey, how much weight you might want to lose or yeah I don't want to say should lose because I don't think you should lose anything but I will update you for week two so stay tuned please let me know if you guys have any other questions at all <laughs> I hope this video was somewhat helpful but it probably wasn't anyways I'll see you guys next time bye hey chop up the banner so lonely Cause I'm alone Cash with my buddy, they phony So I stay low Flexing and whipping my beam ho I'm in my zone Cash with my buddy, they phony So I stay low